<laughs> we bedonked him into the water. They're pretty cute, man. We bedonked him into the water. Alright guys, this is how you catch fish here in the lakes. You got some bread. Get the fluffy part of the bread. Put it onto your hook. Like that. You want your hook exposed? I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Yeah, you want your hook exposed? Alright. No sinker. I put a swivel on so it's easy for me to just change hooks and stuff if need be. You want your line to be decently out because it's very light and you just cast out. <sighs> With this kind of fishing, you don't want to sink up because you're watching your line at all times. That line, as soon as it starts moving, you know you have a fish on. The carp strike slower than the bass, but when they strike, you know. And since we're using um, a uh, J-hook instead of a circle hook, you will need to set the hook like that. You need to set the hook exactly like that. Okay? Oi. Real, I gotta, I gotta whirl this baby up. Make weird sounds. Yep. Bring it up slowly. You don't really need, need a net for bass that are this big. They'll do well. I'll show you where I hooked them actually. That's why you gotta be quick. See, the bread isn't even in its mouth. The hook isn't even in its mouth. It's just on the side of its mouth here. It's fairly easy to get these hooks out. And that's what your fish looks like there. A nice healthy woodcock lake bass. Now we just send them off. You know, shouldn't hold them by the spikes. They're just for the purpose of this video. And ladies, fish gone. The advantage of fishing something um, like this, you know, when you can't get out to the salt water, which is the reason why I fish like this, is because, is so that you can keep all of your little fishing skills up to date, right? For example, putting bait on a hook, this, and doing this over and over again in places with fresh water, if you're a salt water fisherman, this kind of helps keep all of your skills up um, up and going. So like when you're back out of the water again, you're not wasting time tying knots. You're not wasting time trying to put uh, bait onto hooks. You're kind of just there, ready to go and hooking up. And you don't have to relearn how to hook up on your J-hooks when you're in salt water. Because I know like when I go fishing, I go fishing for live bait and stuff, right? Or just like in general, like I like light fishing. So I'll take my light gear and I'll go out to put in or to power and um, just having the skill of being able to set the hook uh, properly really helps me with uh, when I'm fishing out in salt water. Just maintaining the skill because it's kind of like kind of like um, being on holidays. When you come back to work after being on holidays for so long, you kind of forget how to do everything, right? This is to maintain your fishing skills. You got to keep doing it over and over again. The more you do it, the easier it becomes, the more hookups are guaranteed. And I like to do it here because I'm almost always guaranteed a fish every, every like two to three casts. Right? Sometimes I'm really lucky and I catch a, catch a fish on my, my first cast. 
Catching brother? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Man? Good man, good. I haven't seen him for a while, man. That's cool. Yeah, cool. Okay, brother. Yeah, all right. See you, man. Yeah. Mm. All right, start that again. There you go. Got a bigger cast, which means better like So what I've noticed, particularly at this lake, and that's another good thing about fishing your local spots more often, is that you will have greater success as you start, you know, moving around the area and uh, fishing it. Like yeah, a good spot to start off with is, is in any lake because you know it's a small body of water. You can actually cover quite a lot of space and find spots that are like more successful than other spots, right? Um, and so I like this spot here specifically because if I cast out far enough or to the left here where there's you know a lot of structure, I'm like almost guaranteed to fish every couple of times if I'm paying attention. Right? Like right now I'm talking to you guys, looking at the water, talking to you guys. But yes, it's good. There's so many advantages to doing it. The only disadvantage might be that, you know, like if you if you're someone who consumes fish, then this might not be for you. You might want to go out into like the salt water and try there anyway. But even then, like I would still say like the skills are really good to have. Right? Um, so yeah, so I, I recommend you know freshwater fishing. I think it's really good. It's really upskilled my level of fishing. It's really made me invest more time and energy. And actually I get to I actually enjoy fishing more so because I do freshwater fishing. Yeah, so this actually helped me a lot in COVID as well. Because once once we were given like less restrictions and stuff, I had to go out a little bit further. I was able to go out this way from my place. I was basically here every day fishing. And I upskilled myself up. Alright guys. I don't know if you can see whether my net is wet or not, but we found another option maybe. Sometimes the lake gives us free bait, even with the bread that we have. Alright, so our bait is these little guppies. Alright. Or like mosquito fish. I don't know if you can see that in my hand. Alright. They are good luck. They have some swimming action. Sometimes you can let the live bait just go. Because you gotta go home pretty quickly fish as much as you can. And there we go. Okay. Our goal is to catch one more fish. Now that everyone is gone, I can talk much louder, which is good. Uh, we're manifesting this fish, we're gonna catch one. Ready? This is the cast. This is the cast. We're catching one on this cast right here. Whew. If I catch this fish, let's go home. Yes, that's a bite. Oh, man. That was a bite, that was a bite, that was a bite. Very good sign, very good sign. We got a bite. Try again. That was good. Do one more time. This is the ideal time right now in summer to come and fish any lake. Uh, it is about Basically anywhere from 5, 5.30, all the way till sundown is the best time. This dawn period, I find it, I mean like it works for me just personally because like I'm working in the day anyway. And this is when I'm able to get down, but this is the time. And then as it gets darker, it, it's pretty good still in the dark, more copy. But around this time I feel like I catch mostly just that happen again watch here we go there we go baby oh yes my drag was set really really good that's why it sounded crazy we're on I guarantee you the bass is fighting like one this is why we love the light gear fishing oh yeah baby 
It's a decent sized bass too. Alright. Look at that, another one. So So just make sure when you're catching these bad boys, don't dump them where you're fishing them because they're more likely to not come back and disturb the water. All right, look at that wonderful looking guy. Beautiful, send him into the water. That'll be good. Cool. And then you just repeat the process again, baby. Oh shit! I set my drag way too loose. Yeah. Hell yeah. What is this? It's not fighting like a bass. It's fighting like a carp. It's pretty far out as well, actually. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see that? I mean. Where is the fish? There you go. Oh, he's a decent one. Oh, it's a cop. That's why he's fighting like that. Look at him. Ah, oh, cop. They're heavier, but they fight. Not as good as bass. It's really easy to tell. There's only two species. Don't, <clears throat> Don't really like catching carp. So that's another reason. It's the reason why I bring them in, actually. So I can safely put them back in. Are you stuck in the neck? There we go, he's good. So I know some of you are going to say, why did you let the carp get back in, back in the water? Well, at this lake and in New South Wales, especially in a, in a closed system, I understand in an um, open system like a river, you don't have to kill the carp in this lake. They have bass stocked here to slowly reduce the population of this carp. All right. So I am not population control. I will not be doing that. It's not my job. In a river, I will do it. But no, it's not here and not in this lake. Oh, yep. Another one on, baby. Another one on. This one. This one seems more like a bass, but see those like weird head shapes on the line there? It could be another bat, uh, it could be another cop, because he's really heavy like a cop. Ah, uh, never mind, he's very, very active. It is just a tiny bass with a lot of them in him, which is something I love. I love a very oomphy bass. Hi baby. How you doing little fishy? Oh look at this. This is a cute one. There we go. Nice and easy. Now if you look at this bass here, as you can see it here bro, it's got some issues with its fins. And that's probably because of fin rot. They have a disease, these fish, that uh, cause them to develop some damage. But otherwise, they're pretty cute, man. And this is a good way to hold the tinier ones. You use your pinky here to hold the stomach. They're very easy. As you can see, he's very chill. He's not flicking around. 
and just gently holding his mouth with my thumb. All right, that's all you got to do with these fish. I'm just going to let this one go right here. It's okay. I, like, I normally release them much better when I've got the opportunity to do so. But for this sake, I'm just going to whoop. And he's gone. Cool. Now, I'm saying it, so it's going to happen. This is going to be our final cast. Final cast, final fish. Okay, whoopsie daisy. Best way not to get spiked is to let them just get the energy out of the way. Why can't you see this? You see it better like this. Focus on the fishy, bro. Ah. Ah. There you go. This is a really good specimen. You can see like his fins are really chill. Really nice and broad and open. His mouth is not damaged at all. They're pretty cool fish. At least I think so. No damage to his gills as you can see. Really nice color on him. There we go. Nice Aussie bass. This one we are gonna let go by hand. So let's get the phone. Look at him. So pretty, so pretty. <sighs> so this is the spot I like to let them go at. I just have to get better knee strength. Really chill, see? He's not even like worried about it. Just chilling, not worried about it at all. See, you don't mind it, eh, buddy? You're good. <laughs> and that's it guys make sure you like subscribe if you enjoy these videos i'll be trying to post the fishing video every single day so make sure you uh tip uh click on that notification bell if you want uh to see those shorts there'll be lots of fishing shorts i try to make some fishing videos but shorts seem to do better on the channel so we'll be doing shorts all right guys it's time to head home i said that was the last fish Peace.